so I was really excited this time to come out and get to work on Atalanta and uh, see see what it was like to work with a two body system. Um, yeah, it's it's amazing. <laughs> I, and specifically, like, as soon as I so two years ago, we were live streaming like OET videos and everything, and it's like, could you even imagine that would be the coolest thing in the whole world? Aww. Oh my God, you'd work your whole life away, and if you'd ever get lucky, and then it's like, oh my God, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's uh, so a happy bit for about you. Me. <laughs> Michael. Um. Well, I think I have some similarities in that I had gone back to school a little bit later, but I've been at this now for like maybe 14 years, 13 years, maybe 11, 12 of that in ocean science. But I went back to school in my late 20s and did a mechanical engineering technology program. And then um, when I got out of that, I did a brief little stint, like a couple of years, I started doing ROV work in industry. And then I got an opportunity to go on a science job and then I just used it and just uh, the science community is pretty tight and close so that that little job went well led to another couple and then I just started contracting so I work with OET I work with the Ropo system in Canada and um, work with another couple of smaller operations but pretty much like ocean science um, all ocean science stuff um, but to the, to the question of like, how do you get these jobs? Um, like Sarah's program is, sounds awesome, very ideal. So mm -hmm. I don't know, like state by state, province by province, you know, try and find those kinds of things. I'm sure they're not super common. Um, the, I know the MATE program in the United States is, mm -hmm. I'm not overly familiar with it, but I know a lot of people are getting good experience coming out of that. Memorial University in Newfoundland, Labrador has a uh, ROV has two ROV programs as a technician level and a technology level one. Those are good ways to start. And the traditional, the modern traditional way to get in there, which I still think is the best, if you're really only concentrating on ROV, maybe ROV AUV, is to do something, do like the strong discipline, like uh, one of the technology engineering disciplines of your that best suits you. So mechanical, electronics. Electronics might be the better one these days. I, I don't know, it's hard to say. It depends on your aptitude, but like electronics, software, information technology, you know, those things, those core disciplines, like when you learn one, um, you can pick up the other ones pretty, a lot easier. And it's, there's not, uh, having one of those has been traditionally like a solid way to get into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned MATE, and that was the internship that I got, their short-term internship last year, where I was matched with Huey. And actually this year I got their, uh, was selected for their long-term internship, so I'll be back with Huey for... Oh, you're doing that. Oh awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's great. When this is done, I'll go back out um, with them three months at sea wow. uh, with Jason, and then I will be going to the East Coast to the facility for uh, the Jason maintenance kind of tear down rebuild. Oh, that's that. going to be oh. amazing, Sarah. Very Congrats. That's yeah, incredible. I've seen a shark in front of us. Very yeah, that's going to be an excellent experience for you. Um, all that all that work with, with Jason and OET is an excellent, is like, That'll probably fill your boots, you know uh, what I mean? That's uh, awesome. Those were my top two, like, dream someday. <laughs> and you got them both. If, and if you did all it. the stars aligned and I worked for 20 years, maybe I'd get there. <laughs> so awesome. So it's, Amazing. it's pretty incredible. I always love hearing about when people, like, being in college, I've kind of had these past two years where I've had a bunch of my friends apply for these really huge fellowships, and just seeing them get them is always so fulfilling, so great. Can um, can you slow the ship back down to point three now? Ooh, <gasps> what are we I getting into rocks. here? Getting into some rocks. See, these are the rocks that I was predicting. I was just a little bit off, mm -hmm. okay? Just seeing into the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we can see stuff in the sonar. 
Yep. Slowing little down. something something. Mm hmm So this is kind of the base mm -hmm. of the slope. Mm -hmm. Then it picks up, right? Okay. Yes. It's oh, not super steep. But it is steeper than this. Okay. So oh. I have a question. Is there a reason why we are going backwards? Yeah. Is Cheyenne, can I, you can explain that nope. if you want, Cheyenne. Um, well, the weather is pretty good, and uh, we wanted to check out the east side of these features. Because we normally... Uh, forward is better because if the ship gets blown off course, you're blown into deeper water. But um, but since we had a chance, this is the difference between the heading and bearing. So there's where although oh, we're oh, facing oh, in one oh. direction, mm -hmm. do you want me to try and sit down? And uh, look at this? We can move um, in a different in the opposite direction. But because the current, maybe? if you look at Cheyenne's What's screen that? up there, you can get a little bit lower. Uh, the variable? current and wind. You want to put the ship's nose into the current and wind, so it's facing that direction. The That's the heading, yeah. but our bearing is uh, Closer, kinda. kind of opposite. Yeah, I have a good, I have a good distance yeah. on it, just got a bit it, got it. lower, Thank just a little lower. There we go, coming down. My bad, I answered the wrong question. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> but you still answered a question. <laughs> yeah, no, you gave me information that I did not know, so it's like I learned. Right, That's so is a weird collapse. Oh, it's a hormetheid anemone. Mm -hmm. I can't quite see what that coral is. No. There's a Victor Gorgia purple coral yep. right there. Something right there, too. Yep. All right, I think we're good. I think that's, that's good. as good as we're going to get. Okay. Well, you. hopefully, uh, Jive Bot team, maybe there'll be some more of that Victor Gorgia bigger fans, and then we could, those, that's purple, so that'd be a fun thing for you to target, maybe. Right. Very fuzzy coral. Um, don't know what though. Maybe it's hard to say uh, if that's a primnoid or uh, it's bamboo. not giving to me. It's not giving primnoid, but I don't know. Maybe oh, that almost looks black. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. In the still cam zoom. Mm -hmm. And hopefully everyone online can kind of see what I'm doing with the yep. still cam. Come back out. In front. This is our makeshift zoom. Yeah. Also a rock bend right here, I think. Mm, what do we think? It's hard to tell. Almost looks like the bottom of one of the sponges we just took. Mm. Oh, look at the baby Victor Gorgia. I know, it's very cute. Just trying to keep an eye on the depth, not like gun it too fast, and I don't want to take anything out. <laughs> and she was never heard from again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> No need to zoom, but I think another one of those perhaps black corals in front of us. Oh, you it see it in still cam? Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe once we're out ahead, we can try yep. and get a little closer to one. Yep. Well, there's, there's something some in the corner. Maybe a. It's, I don't know, so hard to tell. Oh, gosh, okay. yeah. Hard. Yeah. I, I wonder, so I wonder why the camera is, is this, what is the front camera again? Zeus? Like the the Zeus main. camera? Yeah. Yep. Because I see that the peripheral is kind of not cloudy, but the center. Yeah. yeah. It's Cause that's the part they didn't wipe with their dirty rag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's... I don't know what happened there. <laughs> never, never again. I keep thinking that your cursor, your red cursor, is a shrimp in the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's moved over. <laughs> We were seeing some pretty big black shrimp, though. Uh, yes, I, I, I could put it here. Yeah. I can put it where your aft deck. Okay. Okay, can do. Saw a yellow coral a, a moment ago. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. They need to so. restart the. They have. Oh, yeah, they, they have to restart the uh, DP, so if we want to go up, yeah. Okay, give us a second. Okay, comms chill. Oh, the laser looks cool right now. Okay, so they're just uh, adjusting the heading right now, so we should be able to start moving. Um, 
the bridge says that we sh it shouldn't happen again and that we should be fine. Roger. Okay, well, whenever they're ready, uh, start them moving again and maybe, I don't know, keep it to 30 meter moves. 30 uh, it's meters. not much of a slope. Yeah. There's not much to worry about here. Do you want to do 0 0.2 knots or 0 0.3 knots? It's up to science. Do yeah. you want to try with 0.3? And if it's too fast, slow it down? Sure. Or whatever you want to do. It's um, We can do 0.3. Yikes. Actually, um, let me check on sonar dime right quick because that doesn't look great. Well, those hits are pretty messy, eh? Yeah. It was bouncing around a lot for a second there. I don't know what that was about. It looks pretty chaotic um. on USB or on a it's so high pack. It's so good here. Like, these systems are so good now. It's like, oh, there's something wrong with it. This is terrible. And it's like, yeah, before we like used to I'm jump like around all over like the years place. Ago, right? It's know. like, yeah, that's, that's good enough. <laughs> the sonar dyne is yeah. so much better than the track link stuff from before. Yeah. Oh, look, a shark? Yep. A little shark. All right, everybody's ready? Yep. Cool. See how point three goes. That looks like a an unbranched bamboo or something right here below us. Uh, looks this. like umbelula. Oh, this. that. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So we're we currently using the um, uh, laser dive wow. ball. Um, the van CH two O has gone up by five degrees. Oh, yeah, it is warmer in here. Oh, okay. I haven't noticed More that yet. I feel cold. <laughs> Usually it's in like the 11, 12, but we're at like 16.3 right now. Just FYI. Yep. I it's know. horrible. It's, so it's horrible. really hard to so find horrible. stuff to call out on. Dan yeah. is going to be furious. Yeah. He's going to pull still cam up onto one of the main <laughs> screens. Yeah. 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 Let me see. I feel like that's your H21. The still, that still one. cam, I don't know, it's not great when we're like right now off bottom a little. Mm. It's hard hard to. Probably. Yeah, I, I think we're a bit too high. We're at five meters. I think that's why you don't see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, we got, it works better when we're close up. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to adjust it as we go so we can all see a bit better while moving. Yeah, I see you're doing that. Thanks, Sarah. I <laughs> <laughs> wonder what the grease is. Probably just a dirty rag somebody <sighs> used. Yeah. It's funny because I was looking at it really hard on the deck. Like I zoned out on it, but um, maybe <laughs> it was my brain trying to tell me something. It. Yeah. Oh, um, are we able to look right here? Some... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we gotta do is we gotta find the sweet spots. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, hard to see. Right, uh, right it here. is the brown. Yep. Um, Paramarisid. Are you sure? Hmm. Doesn't look acanthogorgia y. Or black. Can black coral be yellow? Yeah, like staropathies. But I so don't think it's that because it's got. The staropathies doesn't have wiggly, um, like wiggly central branches. axes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, thanks for this. Oh, more stuff That's in the background. Nice Great. Yeah. Ooh, what's on top of it? It looks like there's a, another one of those zoanthids that we have collected overgrowing it. That's Perfect. good there, thanks. We're good. Uh, are you a uh, dive bot team able to see still cam, what still cam is seeing? Uh, anywhere uh, it's probably uh, a bit small. big enough for you? No, not a, but I we're looking down. So I think what you have, here, oh. I'll come over to you for a second. Yeah, yeah we, we can see it here on, in the periphery of our field of view. I'll leave up the pretty pictures <laughs> as we go by so the viewers have something. Ooh. While we're looking around, we are still here to take questions. Um, can we look at this? So many are wondering what it is on the camera, and it's just, uh, when we went to go wipe off our camera lens, we accidentally got the smudge. But we have other cameras that we're using to help us navigate and to find things. So what you see in satellite feed three is our stills cam. And it takes some very great pictures. What you see in satellite feed two is our Atlanta cam. Well, it's hard to say if that's a stock. That looks like a stock. Ooh, and a hemichorallium and maybe mm -hmm. an act Another hormotheid anemone. Here, I'll write that in for yep. you. Hormotheid anemone. Okay. I think we're good here. Was that maybe? a? Yeah, maybe we'll figure out if that was a black coral there in the back on yeah. the right. Not that one, of course. This one. This one. This ah. one. It's kind um, of a blurryish. Yeah. All right. I think we're good here. Thank you. Thanks. I'm just thinking about all these vid caps. That's I know, come actually, out. Th that's a great question. I was going to see if we could, I forgot to then do this. Oh, the interval. To have it not, no, not that. Oh. But to have it not named this way and to have it somehow time stamped, but I don't think there's a way we can do that, unfortunately. I don't think so either. File name. Oh, there's got to be a way. I mean, the, the files are. Have a have a time, of course, but not the file names. Which yeah, suck. I know. It'd be great if the file name could, because we're gonna have to use these as our like right. sample photos. So, do you um, want me to have the interval on? No, okay. no. Since we're using this, okay. So intensely, I think we need to be taking yeah, pictures and zooming it. the way you are doing. Okay. Uh, I'll. Do some Googling of yeah, it. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, okay. Does that look about right? Okay. Oh, and then you wanted the still camera up where the gauges are in that corner there. Okay, one sec. Mm. 
another Holothurian. Sea cucumber. We just passed by. Um, are we able to look at this? Uh, Victor Gorgia, maybe? Maybe. Looks very, very dark. It but does yeah. look quite dark. I don't know if that's just exposure right purple. now. Can we come out on uh, Atalanta's cam just a little? Thanks. Ooh. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Looks yeah, purple that's Victor to me. Gorgia. Right. Yeah, I think we're good there. Oh yeah, and it's much okay to take it. a second. I would not go for the close-ups above five thousand on the ISO. Yeah, no, I forgot about that. That's okay. The thirty-two hundred and stuff is fine, even four thousand. But okay, yeah. So we have a potential Walteria. Oh, uh, is there a tiny Walteria next to it? It's hard to say what that is. Yeah, but definitely a Victor Gorgia coral. Okay. Um, sometimes you can do like highest, I feel like, or fastest, like one over 250 or something. Yeah. Um, you Close. haven't gone lower than like 100, no, have you? 125? Yeah. Yep. No, it's been okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've kind of just been cycling. I wasn't. No, I am. Cycling back and forth so we can actually see. Yeah, because um, the preview mm -hmm. that we're all looking different. at. We have to constantly adjust so that that yeah, looks good. That Actually, if you now. put, try it, press that view. This one? Yeah. Uh, come Sometimes up on that, that makes it brighter. Coming up. So then you can it. do that more how you actually want it to be. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Again, I wouldn't use that as a gauge of what it's actually going to look yeah. like. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Cool rock slabby features. Not Atlanta cam, at least. You say the Atalanta one is dirty as well? It was, yeah. Okay, it's not as bad, I guess, for the well further away. Yeah. Less glare on it. Yeah, I just noticed it when as they were launching it and we turned it on. Big urchin. That is a big urchin. Oh, and there's a white coral here. If we could uh Yeah, I didn't know. I can't even see where it is in Zeus. <laughs> Somewhere to the right. It. <laughs> <laughs> we passed it. I think it might be that, dead. Oh, yeah. that oh, wait, no, it's there, gone. this, yeah. If we could look a little closer at that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's like a uh, hemichorallium once upon a time. Or um, kind of don't like this view even more, actually. <laughs> Makes everything white. So there we go up on yep. ISO, which you can leave. Yeah. Ooh. C can we uh, can we target this uh, coral for a little bit of uh, yeah. laser? Yeah. Stop the ship. Yeah, Fun. sure. I'll get their images and then I'll get the dive. These bottle images are good. These are good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. Maybe uh, a white. Th th three meters, please, Mike. Roger. The ship is stopped. To finish its move. Okay, that's hard to tell what that is. That does um, where? that's another I mean, yeah, paramorosid coral. And then there's a bamboo in the back there. You getting this, Loopy? Paramorosid coral, bamboo in the back, and uh, I don't know. I'm so bad that like I want to be like Analopsimia. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that. Oh, we have time. Yeah, let's, let's look. look into it. I think Analopsimia has usually like different um, polyp shape. Actually, possibly is that Oh, 
hard coral? Yeah, I think it might be an olipsomia. You know what? Yeah, actually, looking because at the and looking at polyps whenever more. this loads. Um. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. I mean, it's hard though because the polyps. This Are usually looks chunkier. And that, mm -hmm. and that looks. I mean, the Not shape there looks chunky. a lot more corralled. Oh, and see how the the branches are kind of smooth. Is or it, I think that that like isn't thicker. bothering me so much. The oh, ah. nice. yeah. So don't think hemichorallium. Yeah, you know, I'm leaning hard coral. We can put it as a maybe in there, maybe. Phenolopsemia, yeah. Because, you know what I'm looking at? Look at this pleurocorallium. I bet this has been, like, re reorganized, but the pleurocorallium under the corallus looks just like the white pear gorge. I mean, that's, like, the most yeah, but mean thing in the world. <laughs> This branch looks pretty smooth, actually. So, like, the branching looks very smooth. So that's why I'm like, hmm. What's this, this one? This is Paragorgia. Oh, it's definitely not Paragorgia. Paragorgia yeah. Not Paragorgia. Either Hemicorallium or hard, hard Coral. So right now, we can't see it, folks tuning in, but um, Michael is hovering the, very well, hovering the ROV over the coral that we had just previously were looking at in still cam um, with the laser on the laser dive bot. Yeah, we have that. Uh, oh, is that going out? On oh, oh see, nice. Yeah, it is going out. Great. I think that's an analapsamia. Like that one looks so different. Also has the polyps out but though. I mean in I think Yeah, it's it's hard. It's tough. It's okay to put it as a maybe and leave it be. <laughs> the purple coral we came across, that was Victor, Victor Gorgia, Gorgia, yeah. Yeah. Are they always purple? Victor Gorgia, yes. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, I feel like always is something I never want to say in science. As but I was say, I think most of the time. I think. I think they have a weird white morph. Is there a white morph too? But yeah. Let me check. Actually, it can range in purpleness. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they're darker. Sometimes lighter. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always purple. If there were a white one, we wouldn't know it because it would look just like something else. <laughs> All right, I think we're good here. Thank Alrighty. you. Alrighty. Okay. So it, we got uh, we got some changes in signal here uh, with Safin track. How how long the laser was effectively on top of the of the corals. Uh, uh -huh. So we'll have to look at the data there here, but uh, yeah, we saw a little bit of shift uh, in some of the emissions, which are consistent with different pigments for the whitish and reddish uh, area uh, uh -huh. and the darkish of the mineral. So to, to be to be to be continued. Uh, All right. I think, uh, cool. Uh, yeah, but thanks, thanks for the for the stop here. That was a really hard one because you know the 
briefly. Uh, if, uh, if you're going perpendicular to the fan, like, sure, that's all right. But going on top of the fan, trying Very to thin. look down, that's a really small target. Yeah, you got a, a lot more of the anemone than the coral. <laughs> Do we have another ship move in Cheyenne? Or if oh, not? we sorry. do not. I was yeah. waiting for it. Put it in, yeah. Is everybody cool with continuous ship moves until we see something super interesting? I think so. Good. Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine back here. Oh, what is? Uh, I think it was just a rock. We're about a third of the way up this hill. Some sort of yeah. I've seen a lot of a lot of these long stalks. Yeah. <laughs> right. Cool sponge is somewhere. Speaking of actually oh right. Um if we're able, can we look down there? Some big spongy looking thing. Looks like a black coral. Yep, actually. Let's try and see who that is. It's like shaped kind of like yeah, yeah. star apathies, but it's um lighter. Let me see. Perfect shot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Perfect angle. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Like lillipathies almost. Um, some tube, a tube worm next to it. I think a dead shrimp also next to it. Coral in the background. All right. Do we want to keep moving? Yeah, I think we can keep moving from cool. that. Thanks for that Good picture. Roger. Really pretty. So I have a question for the dive bot team. I don't know. Like yeah, we're here. So why is the laser dive bot rated to 1,500 meters? Why that specific depth? The uh, reason for that is because the original mission of the dive bot uh, was to go to um, this axial seamount that Sarah was talking about earlier today. And this is some active venting that is happening uh, off the coast of Oregon about a couple hundred miles uh, out and about 1,200 meters, uh, 1,300 meters, uh, we find this huge uh, volcano that sometimes explodes and it's pretty active. So we see active venting and that was the mission for this technology. And that was why we built it for that depth because that's what all that was required. So, um, so in fact, the next mission or one of the next missions of this uh, boat is to go there now that we know it works. and. Um, and you know, we weren't necessarily thinking about this cruise when we started building the technology five years ago, and uh, and so uh, that's why that's why we're limited to to that. Uh, there's really uh, the, the only thing that limits 
how deep typically uh, instruments can go is budget. <laughs> Uh, the cost of uh, making things survive uh, at depth uh, grows probably geometrically uh, with depth. Uh, so for us, since we didn't have to go deeper than 15, we just kept it at 15. But uh, there's no reason why we couldn't do it deeper. Yeah. Okay. So like when it comes to rating things at different depths, um, what is the engineering that has to go into that? Say, is it like the thickness of the hulls that something's built into, or is it yep. the resilience of the technology? Um, it's a combination of a few things. A lot of it's the geometry. So we use titanium housings. Uh, and so the geometry and the pressure loads uh, as the metal expands or contracts or gets squeezed changes. So like one of the main reasons why we're limited to 1500 meters, even though we have a titanium bottle, is that we have a uh, single crystal sapphire window. Uh, and so basically the expansion coefficients and compression uh, is a little bit, their titanium and sapphire don't have the same, is the best way it's explained to me. And so as the titanium uh, shrinks, it shrinks at a slightly different rate than the window. So you get to a point where you have pressure uh, points built up on the window. And so what we're basically doing is wanting to make sure we don't crack the brittle mm -hmm. sapphire window. OK. Um, yeah, that's the, I'm a, not a mechanical engineer. That's uh, more Justin's field. But uh, he also runs a lot of simulations. And so we kind of have a lot of data points and heritage. The, we actually have two bottles on board. The other bottle we call A1 uh, is the battery bottle and power conditioning, and that's actually rated to uh, 4,000 uh, meters, which is why we don't take it on and off the vehicle every time. We are only taking off uh, the optical portion of the instrument. Yeah, looks like Rigadrella. Yep. I, I think in, in summary, uh, you that's need good. thicker you walls effort. in your titanium bottle as you're going deeper. That's yeah. That, and, and thicker windows as well. So, uh, so I think that's if you're in the business if you're in the business of, of making uh, subsea instruments, uh, that good. you know. Yep. So deeper you go, yep. more material you need. Thank um, you. Yep. yep. Oh, probably just some detritus. <laughs> Something. Okay, I think you're good now, Daniel. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to find a question real quick. So, have we come across any um, endangered species or species that we thought were extinct down here ever yeah. before? Don't know of any that we've come across that we thought were extinct, but we're certainly constantly discovering ones that we never knew existed. Mm -hmm. uh, endangered? Um, oh yeah, that does look like a, a batfish down there. Oh yes, little baby bandfish. <laughs> Endangered? There, there are n no, there are not deep sea species that I know of that are classified as endangered currently. Some are I regulated. Yeah, but not. Look at this wee little batfish. Oh, so oh and that cute. coral. Yeah, we got some bigger coral on the Stuff rock in behind the back it. that we can look at. Oh. Try and get a still cam pick of the batfish. Oh, yeah. is the ship moving now? No, it's hard. It is. Okay. Pretty far away. I don't know if I can sit there either. There's kind okay. of rocks right. sticking out in the back. Well, we saw it. But I can get lower than this. Um, it's kind of out of the view of the still we'll cam. See, maybe if I get a little but lower. Oh yeah. Maybe it'll magically come right into. Come it's on. gonna be right there. It's gonna be right there. Yeah, it oh. is. It is. It's going to be right there. Oh, oh, this is exciting. <gasps> oh, so sad. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Get Got it. it. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh. I so do. Oh, yeah. All right. I think that's the best we're going to do. All right. Can Do we have time to look at that coral? these corals up here just like a really quick shot if you just move a bit uh, forward looks like 
some primnoids in the mix there now too. So that's a nice boulder with mm -hmm. some, uh, I think these are bamboos, that C1 clade bamboo and then Calyptrophora primnoids and the paramarissids, the yellow ones and the pink hemichorallium. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice assemblage. All right. Great, thanks. I think we got it. I could write that all in loopy. Oh yeah. Yep, we're good to go. Thanks. All right. Roger. Did you know that some species of batfish have red lips? Aww. Looks just like somebody put lipstick on a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see. Yeah. That's on your screen. Hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, a chrysogorgid, I think. Or, uh, I know, I was no. looking at that too and being no. like, what is that? But it, I don't think it's a chrysogorgid. Stop, hold on. I don't know. Bamboo, actually, I think. Look at down there. Oh, you're right. Uh huh. Man. We're about 20 meters from the top. Okay. Interesting. There hasn't been like quite as much as I was thinking on this slope, but we did still see mm -hmm. a decent bit, and a lot of it is this light, light, white, pinky beige, and yeah. so it's kind of hard, especially with the <laughs> sand all around, to see it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Look at that density. But yeah, right in front of us, we can't see it, but on still cam, you can. There's a there's whole quite bunch a of corals. There's a on this rock in front of us a bunch of <laughs> different little smaller fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not even going to try like and take pictures. Looks like Yeah. And uh, one Calyptrophora maybe from Noah. Mainly those yellow Paramacids. Let's keep an eye out for a good uh, Victor Gorgia. I think there, we have passed a few slightly bigger ones. Nothing there, right? No. Okay. No. But there's a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. So that's great. That fish looks like it's swimming in the sand. I know it's on top yeah. of the sand. It does sort of look like that. Looks like satellite feet one one out. Oh. That was probably me. I was changing the uh, quality of the stream from the downward facing camera. I think we need to keep an eye like that black. It always looks black, but that was oh, a picture. Oh, um, it's up. No, it's, it's gone now. It was, nope. oh, in front of us? Right here. Sorry. Right there. Yeah, that's Small, though. one. What's behind it might also be one. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Don't circle anything. Uh, no, that's a rock. Oh, that's rock. Okay. That is rock. That is coral. Just a rock. That's a small Victor Gorge. I feel like that'll be hard to target. Yeah, a bit too small. We can keep going. Yep. Can though, and Zeus see a little bit more here now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's one in the back that's a little bigger. Could you uh, spin to the right a bit, Michael, please? Quick. Mm -hmm. That's uh, probably still too t too small a target. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Thanks. So we're looking, uh, Michael, for like a bigger one of these, like the bl it almost purple, looks like black. black coral, but it's yeah, purple, dark coral, so that the dive bot team can target it, but I don't want it to be too itty bitty that it's impossible for you. Right, okay. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I, I was looking at those white uh, rounded uh, rocks that are next to the coral, or is it sand? And I'm uh, sand. I think all sand. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing mirages now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's pulling you in to its 3.30 a.m. <laughs> lore. Somehow I'm like tired but awake. It's the cortisol, I guess. <laughs> Well, I mean, this has um, been an exciting watch. It has been. It's, There's a lot going yeah. on. There's another one. I don't think it's... Yeah, it's also small. Yep. We've seen very few how bigger big do ones. You, how big have you seen them get, would you estimate? Ever or on this dive? Um, I would say ever, I guess. I've seen some big Victor Gorgia, like... Mm. Oh, I'm trying to think, like... At least... Oh, yeah. At least a 50 centimeter fan, if not more than that. Okay. These are nice assemblages. Yeah, just not what we want. Hemicorallia, well, not for well, that particular I mean instance, for, but we are very yes. content to be seeing yes, all of this. Yes, yes, yes. The Calyptrophora is cool. I love the They're way beautiful. this coral. I love the way that's a like a one side of a candelabra mm -hmm. shape. You see it really kind of well. Staghorn it's still shape. Cam. Oh yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, not here. I think we're good with pictures as well, so we can keep yep. moving. Thank you, Roger. Yeah, beautiful assemblage. There's this... Hemicralium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big dead stock. All right, I'll keep my eye out in Zeus if you want to look at a still cam yep. or something. Yep. That's a small one there. That's like not terrible. Could we look at this real quick? Uh, yep. Mm, good catch. I don't know if that's a s smaller analopsemia or looks kind of like that white white one. So I this one in the back, it. I know it's hard to get to with the bamboo oh, the in the one way. In the back. Yep. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that looks pretty scleractinium. Yeah, pretty to me. not hemicorallium. Mm -hmm. But I need to. I feel like we need to get closer and see the shape of the polypy bits. Agreed. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It does look like analepsemia. Woohoo! Hard okay. coral. Yeah. C can we spend some time here? Yeah, you want to look at yeah. that one? Yep. Sure. Uh, stop the ship then. Getting good at these on the fly adjustments. Trying very hard. Once I realized that the shutter speed is a fraction, man, <laughs> changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're good with images. Thank you. Roger. Think laser. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a great shot of that's it. That's perfect. Yeah. Nice, yes. Definitely oh. looks analepsemia. -y. Oh, they're so pretty. I love my hard corals. And that looks kind of 
Uh, it looks so much like Staropathies until you look and you see that there are polyps yeah, and it's very old right cross now. in the, the So this should be um yeah, different biogeochemically with the it being a hard mm -hmm. coral. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. would we expect to see some carbonate here since it's uh yeah. Yeah. I'll just leave it close up of this. We'll, we'll do our best, let's say. <laughs> Yeah, so hard corals, mm -hmm. um, scleractinians, are a huge um, what's it called? Group. <laughs> yeah. And they, they're they the ones that can make really, really big fans, and they leave behind a lot of calcium carbonate when they die. It can also fossilize pretty well, too, mm -hmm. if yeah. the conditions are right. These ones, so these have, unlike the soft corals, kind of the whole structure is preserved, except for the polyps, of course. Um, so yeah, really cool to see. I always think it's interesting how these corals look so much like trees, and yet they're not. But yeah, right. this branching pattern is so widespread throughout, you know, all of life on Earth. Like whether it's a plant or a coral or even slime molds, they kind of branch out in this mm -hmm. way too. All right, we're good. To okay. Expose, I guess, more surface area, kind of to whatever you're targeting. Like yep. trees want m more more light. leaves to be yeah accessing more light and mm -hmm. here more polyps are trying to grab at Food. more of the water at once mm -hmm. so we're on top of the feature now it okay. still slopes up like very very gently mm -hmm. so the engineering challenges uh uh change depending on the depth of your expedition or your missions for your instruments what did you say the other bottle was rated towards that not the optical but the uh, 4,000, 4, but, 000. uh, that's what we commissioned it to since mm -hmm. the ROV can't go further than 4,000. So, right. uh, I'm not sure what the actual, like, theoretical number could be, but we only pressure tested it to 4,000 meters.
it's tough because when I look at her cam now I'm like shadow or sediment <laughs> or yeah so smudge. You're missing a lot of things right probably with that um I mean not too bad considering I'm seeing a good amount in the still cam but it's it's hard yeah, yeah that's it's hard bad. then to find it in that's Victor yep. Gorger I think oh. hard then to Just find kidding. it in sorry Zeus we don't have to Mark go look it on that, that little one. Actually, I'm more interested in some of these yellow ones on the yeah. right. Sorry about that. Which one do you want to? Let's go um, oh. more this way. Sorry. Mm. I have butter fingers when it comes to dark looking <laughs> Is things. there a yellow uh, one in there or something? Yeah, yeah so oh, there's yeah, yellow back so there. Yeah. Okay. We're seeing it in our, in our camera there. If you look at the left there, there uh, is there's uh, some yeah. yellow, yellow. -ish. Yeah, right. So uh, it seems like there's a lot of these oh, paramorsids yeah. kind of spotting around. Yeah. 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 We'll, uh, yeah. Do you want to hover over one of them? We're gonna yeah. look at this one real quick, and then yeah, 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 uh, yeah. If you can, you can find us one of the greenish ones. That will be fantastic for us. Sure. So if you look in still cam in a sec, you'll see it's the same as one we saw a little earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, the ship's holding position here. Thank Roger, you. Sure. Thank you. That looks like oh, that actually staropathies. looks more black corally. That looks like staropathies kind of right there, exactly. Yeah. But there, yeah, you can see there's a couple different mm -hmm. bunch around. It's here. actually it's like staropathies colored, but it does, it's not really it's staropathies still shaped. Different. Um, no, what I think that's urchin? still not a black coral. That's a, per a paramorsid still. But in the back on the left, that's a black coral. All right, we're good on pictures. Is this the one that we want to try and get with the laser? Uh, is that one fine for you? If it, what you see in still cam? This yes. Yep. Yeah, that works. Okay. Right. That's a small target, but we'll. Uh, we can look for a bigger out. one if you want. There were some back where we were a moment ago too. Are they? Do you think they're bigger? Or? They. All, it looked like there was just more, not necessarily bigger. I didn't see right. bigger ones. Let's try this. All right. Looks like there's also a purple. Yeah, that's the Victor Gorgia. Oh, okay. Um. That's another small one. I'm hoping we come across bigger ones. Yep. I'll but we can try for it. I'll keep zoomed in on this one for now. I'm just going to highlight the pretty ones for <laughs> the viewers. You can really see the HD quality of the still cam, though. So that's fun. Yeah. It's I'm glad we, glad we oh, got I it. I lost it all together. Where is it? Right there. Looks like it's straight down. Yeah, I went over it. OK, yeah, I think I see it. Yeah. And if we could try to get to three meters altitude. Yep. My God, that camera is tearing constantly. Uh, where'd it go? Yep. So Sarah on. Oh, I think it's uh, up. Up. It's slightly to the left. All right. Let me see if I can get. Yep. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna try the autos this time and see if they do a better job. Auto altitude, anyway. The idea is to uh, be on uh, surf on the surface by eight, on deck by eight. I'm on. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Tell tell us how much ground we need to try to cover if we are to do that. And we don't need to get all the way across the feature, but I am curious about getting up to the top of it.
Oh, we are. Okay, great. Then across and down too. Nice. Yeah. Be nice Auto to. Auto altitude is terrible. Be nice to get yeah. across some of it and maybe even see the other side. But I think we're okay with not going all the way down the other side. Um. And oh, we're gonna come down a bit here. Oh, we're good. Okay. We got what we needed. Scroll this one a little bit. Oh, it's a big old dead stock sponge. That's huge. That thing was probably like a meter and a half tall. To the middle on uh, on our watch or on total? You're saying total? We've actually made it pretty far, though, on our watch now. And, the, and we were only on bottom. It took us like a, an hour and change to get down. Yeah. I feel like on our watch, mm -hmm. we might be able to get to, I don't know, somewhere whoa, whoa, whoa. halfway between two and three. Um, Aritagorgia alert. Where is it? Here? Wow. Yeah, big Aritagorgia. Uh, yeah, go ahead. We can see that one. That's worth taking in Zeus. <laughs> What's this called again? Aritagorgia. Magnaspiralis. Yep. Magnaspiralis. Spiralis. Spiralis. Like big spiral. I can spell it for you if need be. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a blurry photo, but. I'll try. <laughs> That's all right. All right. I think. E. I think we're good on still cam. I just wrote it also in a. If you. Kay. It's right below what you're typing into now, Daniel. One of the last entries. Oh, yeah. I see it now. With some squat lobsters on it. That's a party. Whoa. Look at this one. In the weeds. Chirostylids, I think. Yeah. Okay. Seeing more. I see a. I see a sponge. I think another Vigadrilla. Uh. Another Victor Gorgia. If you see any big Victor Gorgia in still cam, do call it out. Yeah. I think these are all small so yeah, far. Yeah, they are. But something that we might be able to target all right. Mm hmm. Sure. Ooh. Shadow? I think so, actually. Shadow, I think, yep. Yeah. So Daniel, what do we think about these rock formations? <laughs> yeah, so it looks mostly like what we've seen before, uh, like basalt igneous rocks. Big sheet flow or something. Yeah. Total, right? And waypoint wow. five is other side. Okay, yeah, that's great. I think that we would be very satisfied with that. Mm -hmm. Um. If we could glance over there a little bit. Calculating what? A ton of stopping, sadly, yep. yeah. It's okay if we don't make it all the way to 5-2. Um, we were thinking well, if it's really cool, we could extend the dive, but I think with the way Zeus is looking, we probably will not do that. Ah, so unfortunate. That's I know. crap. That's bound to happen every once in a while. That looks like another one of those branching bushy branching bamboos in the mm -hmm. D1, keratoicid D1 that we were seeing last time. And crinoid at the top as well. Oh, and we're seeing. 
Is that a yellow black coral now? That's so hard to tell in no, because the polyps still right, look give me a second. paramarisid. Yeah. I'm all blown out. Uh all right, I think well good. Yep. Yeah, that? Mm-hmm. Bamboo. Nodal. You can really see the nodes on still cam here. <laughs> so when we're saying nodal, if you look at where my pointer is, where this little black spot is, there's a branch coming off of it. So that's how you know that it's nodal. And that matches with the... Oh, I said D1. I meant to say C. Oh, yeah, C1. Also looks with the like C1 clade. Potential ball of soma in the background. First one we've seen on this dive. Um, another Victogorgia. Very small, though. And this one. Oh, that's a big black coral. Mm -hmm. Is that maybe the one that you were referring to earlier? Could you zoom on it a little more? I think it is. Like it's so hard to tell. <laughs> or, I mean, these. yeah, yeah. Like I'm referring to how the yeah the barbiness. Yeah. So Leah, um, what's the C1 and D1 and stuff like? What is that? Oh, they're just the names of different clades of different groups of bamboo corals. But there's a lot of work being done on trying to like. You know, figure out okay, or is this? Are we going to call this a genus level difference or a family level difference? Or sorry, it wouldn't be family; it'd be more specific, but like a genus or a mm -hmm. species level difference. And and uh, yeah, what are we going to call it? Okay. And right now, they have a lot of these like obscure clade names. <laughs> yep. You know, I feel like the smudge isn't as bad as it could be. There you oh, go. Oh, that's looking, I'm that's up. That's I'm up trying. on the bright side. <laughs> I'm trying. It's driving me that's crazy. It's so, like, disgraceful that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me crazy, too. I like that I keep squinting to, like, try I know, to I'm, I guess yeah. if it's going to make the blur go away. It's a big, oops, my bad. <laughs> yeah, constantly, mm -hmm. all night. Yeah. <laughs> Look what you did. On the bright side, the flicker's off. Is it? Or at no. least it don't see it. it. Oh, you didn't have to point that one out, Shai. Oh. It's still there. Yeah. <laughs> it was off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm kind of excited to see everyone's reaction to it. The, oh, yeah. Next well, watch. Oh, yeah. Man, they're when they like, come in, they're going to be like, what is that? Dan's oh, no. Coming. Oh, no. Dan He's going to be gonna like, freak that's out. it. We're Dan's coming up. Explode. Yeah. Just gonna talk about it all night. Like, he How is. the hell did they go in like? The, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully and, so. And yeah. we'll pull up still can bigger. <laughs> yeah, this Ooh, is inexcusable. Um, this should be. So yeah, um, we're coming up on a lot over here. Yeah, there's a lot of that coral. You know. Sorry, a bit late pointing it out. If we could, uh, next time we see a bigger branch of of these, this, next time we're in a position to stop the ship. Uh, without needing to swing too much. That yeah. would be a great thing to collect. Yep. Okay. We don't have a lot of swing. We don't? Good. So we can stop here if you want. Uh, that one's kind of passed us by, yeah, but there are... That's all right. We keep They're looking. coming around, so Ooh, I'll try and look thing. in Zeus and find one. Big, because big Because we're really. backing up, um, Atalanta doesn't have much swing, so... Great. What you, you see one over there? Big mm -hmm. permnoid. Uh... Uh, somewhere over here. Ah, put this on. Sorry. Oh. Yep, there it is. In here somewhere? Yes. Yeah, it's right there. It's that big thing that you can't see because it's white. <laughs> 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 Just pretend. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Use your third eye. <laughs> wow, it's actually quite big. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I saw it and oh, I was like, hold up. Uh, these are, is this the paracalyptrophora? Yeah. Do you want to stop to laser this one? Uh, Ooh. it's not very colorful. Are you interested in this team, dive bot team? I don't think so. I, no, nah, uh, I don't. Um, I think 
Let me check that that's Paracliptrophora. So big. That's a big one, yeah. yeah. Did you? The yes, answer is no yes. On the laser? Oh, you would yes. like to. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Yes. Bridge nav. We're going to get some imagery of it real quick, and then we can uh, move for you. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Wow. Calyptrophora, maybe? That's huge. Oh, that's, these are cool still cam yes. shots. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and that, that crinoid at the Ooh, top. Oh, if we could get the whole thing if it's more far I just missed that. I think that's I got really cool. it. I think I got the whole thing. Oh, right there. It's about to come. Wow. Right, Mike, no excuses here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Big target. All right. Okay, I think we're, we're good, good on that, yeah. Thanks. Wow. All right. And do we see in the background any of those pictures of uh, uh, some of our weird little white black coral? Let's look. Oh. Uh, yeah, at the base of it, is that it? On the bottom, oh, to the right? This one? That ah, so sorry. You're good. Is that it? Oh my god. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Zoom all the way. I think yeah, that's it. Yeah, kind of tough, but. That's it. Okay. So we could also uh, sample that after. Cool. Is that it there? That uh, must be it, is it? Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, come down a bit. Beautiful pink color. Yeah, there's a bunch of them in the back yeah. here. So we can really we'll choose We'll do any. one of those after. That's probably three meters over the thing. Or is that thing. what's right in front of us? Over That's what's cool. right in front of us, actually. Ah. That's those. <laughs> this is yes, perfect. Yes, they are. Yep. Right. Cool. How big do we think this is? Uh, well, hard to tell because you don't have the lasers in that camera, but yeah. uh, pro probably over a meter wide. Which is That's huge. So or around a meter. No, nah, more than a meter wide and tall. I'll make the image larger while they're doing dive bot stuff. But yeah, these images will be in the gallery. And for those who are also looking for another resource to help with uh, species ID, oh, wow. oh. we are oh, jumping. Oh. What just happened? Good gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, and all the pictures got pulled. We use as a guide the Benthic Deepwater Animal Identification Guide version 3 by NOAA Ocean Exploration. And that's on their website, oceanexplorer.noaa.gov. And for anyone wondering, we have a whole bunch of different cameras going on. Um, the one in feed three is the still cam. The one in feed one All is right. Zeus. Good. Uh, actually, so we could get a oh. AB comparison. Could you just scoot to the left by like a half a meter and not be on the coral? And sure. then we'll take the sample again and we'll be able to do an AB. Uh, change like this good enough here perfect all right yep i'm gonna go ahead and move the ships just 10 meters forward uh we're gonna be gone here in a You're second good. i think okay yep never mind okay so the so atalanta and herc both have zeus cameras um which you can see right now in feed two feed one is the dive bot the laser dive bot as they shoot the laser at um, animals and rock and sediment to figure out their um, spectrometry. Oh, shark. Um, All right. like we're, we're good. Good? 
the the one on Herc is called a Zeus Plus. Is a 1080 broadcast quality camera. It's a very awesome camera. Perfect. The one on uh, Atlanta is not a Zeus Plus. It's called a Mini Zeus. It's very okay. good, but it's nowhere near. The, it's mini. It's big. Um, uh, Hannaford, before we drift too far away, this is going to be our next samples. We'll one of one of these white corals here. You want to sample it? Yes, that's the black coral. Okay. Even. So did we move to ship or not? No, we no. didn't. All right. Good. I can okay. though. No, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> there was a shark a minute ago, too. Mm -hmm. Seeing a lot of sharks on our watch, I feel. Yeah, we have. Did we get an ID on those little sharks that have been hanging out? There are two. Yeah, there are two that look kind of. Far away. There are um. two different things that look kind of both a lot like it. Mm hmm. They have some really pretty, like, white eyes, though, I will say. Yeah, so really any of those white fans in front of us, Michael, is good. They're all the same. The white ones? The white ones, yep. Yep. And we are just... Oh, there you go. ...going to be going for, like, a 10 to 15, maybe, like, a 15 centimeter snip oh. of... Perfect view. Some of the branches. Okay, maybe I'll get you to move the ship back, actually. Yeah. It's close to, uh, it's not going to hurt, and it's close to the hill there. Yep, mm -hmm. got it. Perfect shot. Yeah, so if we could just take maybe like, you know, like the end of that branch or something, that'd be great. It's not even on. Got a nice oh, shrimp in the uh, downward facing Beautiful camera. Shot. Yeah, if you could nice. get real close to that again, quick zoom. Yeah, it kind of has. Let's go do our comparisons again. Yeah, but it doesn't have those wavy. I don't think. I, I don't know, think it's yeah. the wavy trisopathic no. barbules. I think it's a schizopathy. Mm -hmm. I agree. It I'm looks gonna like go for lilipathies, even though it's you know it just a weird like lilipathies color. color, but I mean, which hey, yeah, yeah, it's perfectly. Lilipathies comes in a bunch of different colors. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, a little Amber. further down, you can see in still cam kind of exactly where you were too. Uh, yeah. Maybe how further much? down? Like this much? Uh, yeah, like that. That's great. Cutter's on the bottom, right? Uh, a little less than that, maybe. Uh, sorry. Yeah, like there. It's not a great angle. Hold on. Oh, that's all Here. I got. Oh, yeah. Red arrows by the cutter mark. <laughs> Roger. Ish. Kind of hard to find. That's great. That's great. I cannot no, zoom, I unfortunately. Okay. I don't want to. Hold on. I gotta get the stupid claws out of the way. There we go. There we go. Good. Perfect. It's almost yep. like going to get your Christmas tree. Yep. Okay. Where's it going? Uh. We can do porch. Porch. In with the the big, the big club-like sample. You want to no. put it with the sponge or put there it on Omega? Oh. Um, it can go in with the sponge. Yeah, sure, that's mm -hmm. fine. If the sponge, if there's enough room there. So based on educated guesses, I'm inclined to say that the sharks we've been seeing are the Etmo terids. Etmo terids. Uh, 
Uh, no idea. I don't you're, know. You're honestly the fishy, yeah. the most fish inclined in this room, I think. Um, because generally the sharks, oh, it says lantern shark. Oh, cool. What I coral was this that we just took a snippet of? What was that? What coral was this? Uh, it's some kind of black coral. We're thinking right now lilopathies. Possibly. I want to say it's one of these because it's very low. It's hovering over the sediment most of the time. It has that big old white eyeball, but still it's very hard to see, so not sure. And based on the depth range as well. Let's see what happens if we start to close it. No better. Okay, close it. That'll be, all right. That'll be all right. That's good? Yep. All right. She's in. Great. Thanks. Okay. All right. We can, uh, whenever Hannaford's ready, get the ship moving again. Yep. All right. Move the ship. Do you want to wait so you get in front? Or are you good? I don't know. It'll take them 10 minutes or five minutes to see that move. Just go ahead. All right. Yeah, passing a bunch of stuff, but we're thinking the pinky ones are hemichoralium. Not sure, though, because we didn't look at them close up. Uh, potential chrysogorgid right there. Let us know when you're back ahead, Hannaford. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're about 60 meters from the top. Okay, Ooh, great. No, we're back there. out in front there now. I think, uh... All right. That was interesting, but we already passed it. Um, there's a whole bunch of coral here. Yeah. Don't know if Is we want to... I think it's more of this black coral that we're seeing. Yeah. Um, some hemicralium. Mm -hmm. What am I seeing in that tether? Oh. Or is it just laid? It's just. Oh, it just looks. Yeah. Um, if we could pause real yeah. quick. Uh, oh, no, nope, go ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Ooh, oh, oh, got a loop. Ah. Got a turn. All right. We'll take a pause yeah, for that. Yeah, we got to deal with this. Should we stop the ship? Yes. <laughs> okay, I will stay where I'm at. All right, so they're yeah, just doing I'm a little tether management now, Loopy. Do a little spin. Might come up. I'm at about eight meters. Yeah, uh, come up a bit. Okay. Just to be safe. Oh, terrifying. There we go. Do a little ballerina turn. Okay, stay right about there. Let's see if I can. Now let me get back out and see what that looks do like. It. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Is that from a? Oh, well, we're trying Resetting to correct the, zero the one that was in the, in the beginning. the other day. Yeah. 
so obviously that wasn't the right move. Mm -hmm. It looked fine earlier, though. Yeah. yeah. And it might be sometimes the current, like, blows it over on itself. Mm -hmm. I've seen that before. Okay. Let's just see what we've got here. Nope, still something. Oh, it's still, still there. Still looped, yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like it, it, I don't know when we would have, does it go on top? No, it's under. Come up a little bit, or? <clears throat> about 13 mm. meters right now. That's okay. Okay. Need to be able to see it. Yeah. Uh, so I don't like that yeah. turn that I just did. Am I zoomed all the way? Can we get zoomed all the way out? Yeah. Yeah, you already are. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Come, uh, come up a little. Okay. Yeah, it started, looked like it started to just come undone right there, but. Yeah, I think if you come up, but yeah. I, trying to keep eyes on it is hard. Right. Don't want to strain it if I do come up and. It kinks. It's real slow. Are you looking down, down all the way? Look down more. Yep. Down more right there. Just gonna keep driving over this way. Okay. Still there. If you drove back under it, you think it might start to come? Yeah, I don't want back around this way. Yeah. But I think like it's like almost stuck on the football. Just mm -hmm. go up with Atlanta. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah, Can you see that again? Should come undone. That's coming out. Yeah. I'll keep going up. Yeah. Just, just take that off. I'll slow down there. Little bouncy. Keep coming. Keep going. Can't see any more, damn it. I can a little in the corner. Oh, I am more.
little bit. This thing gone. Coming down. Yeah. See what's. See what it's done. Yeah. I can kind of see. I'll follow it back. That second floats back over there. Kind of come up a little bit. All right, just come on back down so Kay. we can see it easier, I think. All right. Let's just carry on and... Uh, keep an eye on it. Keep it... Oh, is that... Looks like a big, like it's coming out. Come back down. You can see it's still kind of looped there. So get closer. Oh. Yeah, it's still there. I think you just need to get you. Almost like you need like a wide circle around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I can hear you. No, thank you, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Come hmm? Yeah, go for it. Oh yeah, I think that's doing it. You can see where it's yeah. just dropping down now. All right. Ooh, yay. yay. Sacco calyx. <laughs> it's like a little coral rose type. Yeah, those oh, are pretty sponge yeah, far like far far sponges. Spongy rows. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty. Let me know when you're ready. I'm not ready yet. I, uh,
Oh, run away. Go down a little. Just come on down a few more meters. Come down. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice tether. <laughs> Hooray! Teamwork makes the dream work. That's an unbranching somewhere. Yep, right in front Here. of us. Whenever you're, if you're ready. All right. Uh, no, not yet. Hold on. No worries. Pretty sure it's fine, but just want to see. Oh, undoing yep. that tether mm. wrap. Look up with the camera yeah. a bit. Yep. There we there go. There it is. Okay. Yay. Nice. So. Woo. All right. Looks good. Oh, run away. Um, Go down a little. There we go. So I think then like this would be zero it there. That's getting to two. And then that goes there. Okay. And then this goes back here. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good work. All right, carrying on. Woohoo! Woo um, turn, turn craft yeah, off. We're gonna pass it. That's okay. That's all right. Let me get a chance. I was gonna ask a question. Give it a one more second. cool jelly thing. Mm. Do we want to increase speed, do bigger steps? I think right now we have enough we to look at still that point 0.3 is good. Okay. Um, but yeah, if it gets more boring potentially. <laughs> Sounds good. But I think we're still doing enough stopping for dive bot and such that it would be good to keep this speed. Roger. Thank you. Stop, stop. Ran away. She ran all the way away. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go back on Victor Gorgia Hunt. There we go. <laughs> yep. Which corals have we grabbed so far, Loopy? Just the black coral? Yes. Okay. And then we have that one sponge. <laughs> Realize so I one? didn't even think about rocks on this yet. Well, it was sand for a long bit of that, and then on the slope. Yeah, we I only suppose got we could grab sponge and coral. One. Uh, it looks like it's about to get real sandy again. Mm. Don't say that. Mm. <laughs> Actually, it's almost at the end of our watch. Maybe they can endorse Oh them. my god, the tether. No, oh, it's back. Oh. That almost looks more kinked than before. Uh, hold on, let me drive under. Okay. You stop the ship, right, Cheyenne? Okay. I don't understand that, though. That's the way I went last time. Why would I? Mm -hmm. It seems like it's just when Atlanta kind of goes over you. And I don't know back over. There we go. Gently, there she goes. Yeah, but that can't be right. Yeah, that's indicative of some 
turn, right? Otherwise it would just float. She's running away. Go ahead with the ship move. Okay. Oh, she's back. Divebot team, did you catch anything interesting between the lines in that last reading? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, not really. As the, we had a, as we were, as Mike was trying to get us on top yeah. of that, uh, the, it's like a fan, right? These columns. Right. So they're pretty skinny. It's very hard from this perspective. So yeah. we, we were joking that maybe we could just topple it, <laughs> make it flat, but uh, that would be yeah. excessive. Yeah. Oh, so. topple it over. <laughs> <laughs> topple it over. Yeah, it Oops, ran it over. <laughs> Guess now we should we'll, measure it now. We'll, we'll find something a bit more, <laughs> okay. a bit more two-dimensional right, from the top. Yeah. Maybe if we see like a chrysogorget or something. I don't know. Another fish. Yeah. Oh, a, a jelly. A jelly. A fish was like stout. Oh, yeah, you're so pretty. Ooh. Hey, look at that. My God, oh, we can oh. see it. Just don't yeah. you come into the thrusters now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Cheyenne, we can uh, bump up the speed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's nothing in, in, in sonar, right? So we're good, uh, Michael? No, we're good. I'm just still playing with this tether here, but okay. the ship's moving again, right? Yep. Are you yeah. okay if we bump to 0.5? Yep. Okay. Man. Let's Tokyo put a lot of slack in it and see what it does. Okay. Yep. I'll just stay here? Yeah. Okay. Can you adjust your heading to port so maybe we can sure. see it more? Add some in there. Or, there we go. Maybe just know we're still managing the. Maybe. Oh. Oh yeah, that's okay. You can. Yeah. That's good. You can submit that. Go. Kind of turn it. You can submit that, and then I was gonna say just that, that we're still tether managing. Note that. A little bit more. I feel like it's right next to me. And another ten. <clears throat> Before we hand over now would be a good time to summarize what we've seen so far. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, pretty straight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right, I will re readjust to 265. All right. Readjusted to 265.
See, there's a fair bit of current now as well, so I don't know if I trust it or not. Like, it's just being blown. I don't know. We'll hand it over. Yeah, it seems to just kind of do it when uh, when Atalanta kind of surpasses you, and then you come back and catch up, and then it just kind of does this little mm. yeah flip over itself. Well, I wonder is it out now, or it seems like it's as good as it's looked. Yeah, let me go down, see if there we go. Change the camera. Straight. Come on, go up. Yeah, I think that's good there. Yeah. Doesn't want to turn. Okay. Going up a little bit. Don't bump me. Yep, there we go. All right. Just gonna kind of scan it one more time. Just double check. Yeah. Well. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Okay. All right, come down a few meters. Coming down. What do you watch, Tate? What's going on there now? Okay, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Let me stay where I'm at or come up a little. Mm. Uh, I think you stay there. Okay. Maybe come up a couple. Okay. Like three meters maybe. Okay. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> 